How's my hair? Is it looking good? It's a little windy out here and I've got no products in my hair. So it's kind of all over the place. What's up guys, this is Ian and uh, I am out here right outside. You can see the sign over here. I'm outside Universal Studios. So I realized that I have had the Shark Nano slider for about two months now and I have not attempted a single time lapse. So that's gonna change uh, and you're gonna come along with me. So let's go. I'm gonna put this to a full second. Bring that ISO all the way down. I think I'm gonna have to do maybe 6.3, I kind of like that. Uh, instead of 17, I'm gonna be at 28. Turn this even more. Let's do a quick start. Turn it there, and that is point A. Push it in all the way and that is point b quick start is not going to do anything so interval one second output time i want five seconds at 24 frames let's start that oh oh is it going So, while that's happening, how have you been? I've been all right. Dave and I are almost done with our studio. We will let you guys know as soon as we have it all done. All the people who are local, we're probably gonna have a housewarming few parties. <laughs> but how else have you been? I summer just started. Thor, the, what is this? The fourth Thor is just about to hit the my hair is still just going haywire out here. Ezra Miller being a punk as usual. Supreme Court, f you douchebags. I'm sorry for all you women, I really am. Yeah. All right. So let's just click standby, because that was awesome. Dude, that's so cool. And this was my first one. So let's change the interval to a two second interval so that in between each shot is two seconds and let's make each exposure 1.6 seconds bring that iso back down so let's go back up a time five seconds let's do another five second clip so it's gonna be 120 frames and let's just make sure that i'm hitting that focus Okay, and from back here, so I'm not in the shadows, start. It's okay if right off the bat when you guys are learning time lapses that you aren't fully understanding the whole like interval, buffer, uh, time delay, plus like the output time. It's completely okay. Mess around with the settings, figure it out because it's not about having. It's not about you. Ha it's not about you having all of the gear. All the gear. It's about knowing what. It's about making the gear that you have give you the outcome that you need. Get to know your tools. And I'm sorry for all the noise. I am now overlooking the freeway, and my light is my iPhone. So I apologize for the harsh shadows. I am now over top of the. This is the 101. I am facing south, so I'm facing Hollywood. Behind me is actually where uh, we were just shooting at Universal Studios. And I'm just messing around. I now have pretty much uh, similar settings as how we just were, uh, but because the cars are moving now at about, you know, 60 to 70 miles an hour, uh, I have the shutter open for only one second instead of one, uh, 0.6 seconds 
and the interval is back to one second instead of two. But you know what? It's almost done. So let's see how my first one does. All right, so let's stand by. And let's see what this looked like. Oh, that's really cool. It looks so good, honestly. You know what? On that note, I think he's getting a little tired. I think he's getting a little tired. A little tired. A little late? Yeah, a little late. So I'm going to call it a night. I'll leave you with these finished time lapses, guys. Take care.